Did you know that just 10 words in English make up 25% of the language? Sight words or high frequency words are the key to learning English and in particular reading and producing sentences. The most common words are the, be, to, a, and, of, in, that, have, and I. High frequency words are great to teach children who know some verbs and nouns and who know how to construct words using phonics blending. Mastery of high frequency words will allow your child to read much more easily and allow them to speak much more fluently. Hi, I'm Mr. Charles and I've been teaching English and in particular spoken fluency for around 10 years. On my channel, Mr. Charles' Classroom, you can find lots of ideas on how to help your child become more fluent at English. If that interests you, then hit subscribe and the notification bell because we will be producing more content every week. In this video, I'll tell you some strategies that you can use to teach high frequency words to your child. The goal of the activities is that your child can read each of the words at sight. That's within about two seconds of seeing it and that they know when and how to use each of the words confidently. So here are some strategies that you can use. I will group them in three categories. Recognizing, writing and using. And remember that these ideas are just guidelines that you can adapt to your situation. The first activity is to get the sight word that you're working with, for example the, on a big piece of paper. Get it quite big like this kind of size and get your child to read it, spell it, then put the word in amongst some other random words and get your child to pick out the correct word. Play this activity a couple of times. Go. Great. I've got four words here. I'm going to jumble them up. Jumble, 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 jumble. <laughs> Hold on, I'm still jumbling. I'm still jumbling. Okay. Where's the word the? Can you point to it? Next, get a short story or a couple of pages from a book and get your child to count how many times the sight word that you are working with is in that section. For example, with the, get them to count how many times they see the word the. Next, read the same piece of text out loud to your child, apart from the sight words that you are working on. Tell your child that they should jump in and shout out the sight words every time it's about to come up. Encourage them to get the timing exactly right so that there's no gaps in the flow of the story. In order to remember how to spell the word and to write the word correctly, your child will have to practice writing the word a lot. This can get a bit repetitive, so try to keep writing activities as fun and fast paced as possible. If your child is very new to writing, then the first activity is for them to trace the letters of the word with their finger. The next activity is for them to follow the word on dotted lines. I don't recommend doing this too many times, but for a very inexperienced writer, this is a good way to start and it builds the memory of the shape of the word in their mind. For more confident writers, write the word above, for example, the, and then get them to copy underneath using guidelines. This can get a little bit repetitive, so try to make a game out of it. For example, every time they write the keyword correctly five times in a row, maybe they get a sticker or a little treat. For younger learners, focus on encouraging them and keeping them going and keeping them trying. Don't worry too much if they're not writing everything perfectly. That will come with practice. At the start, building confidence is key. The key to sight words is using them. This can be as simple as possible at first. For example, cat and dog. The cat, the dog. It is a cat. I use story dice a lot. You can put your sight word down and interchange the story dice to make lots of little sentences. And it's the what? The castle. The castle, is it? Shall I show? Let me show. That castle. If you don't have any story dice, you can get some simple pictures and just put them down and put them next to the sight words. For example, you can put a picture of a cat and then the word the. And then you can change the cat to a picture of a dog. The cat, the dog. It's as simple as that. The owl. Yeah. The dick. 
good. As your child builds in confidence with their sight words and you add more and more sight words to their vocabulary, you can make longer and longer sentences. I recommend working with between two and five sight words a week, depending on the age of your child. Of course, as you move into subsequent weeks, you can use sight words from previous weeks to build longer and longer sentences. This is also a great way to embed the memory of learning the sight words. When you're working on particular sight words in a week, you can encourage your child to keep their eye out to look for those words in their environment. Maybe on road signs, on menus, on the adverts on the side of buses, anywhere. Anywhere they can see the word, they can pick it out and shout it out. And you can help them to understand the context it's being used in. I hope these ideas have been useful. Please let us know in the comments how you got on and how you adapted them to your situation. See you next time.